Okay, here's how you can make a presentation in Sozi. I've got a uh, document here in Inkscape, and I've installed the Sozi extension, and I want to make this into a presentation. So I'm going to uh, start with the world and closely zoom in on Ethiopia to show people where that is. Uh, to set up your pre your project, you have to decide what you want to show on each frame of the presentation between each transition. So I'm going to use a rectangle to create a frame. And I'm going to start out by using this whole document. So I'm going to just draw a rectangle around the whole thing. Okay. And then I want to zoom in closer on Africa. So I'm going to make another rectangle around Africa. And uh, then I'm going to zoom in on Ethiopia, but I'm not going to make a rectangle. I'll show you how you can do that without a rectangle. Uh, what I want to do, I, you could just define your frames in, in in groups, but it's I find it easier to do them one at a time. So I'm going to select the outer frame, and then I'll make that my first section in Sozi. So if I go into my extensions, there's my Sozi extension. And I'm going to make a new frame. So here's the sequence first frame, and here's the frame properties. For the title, uh, I'm going to just call this The World. And what that does is that basically just puts in a list in here so you can keep track of what you're doing. The ID, you could leave that and ignore it, but that will actually show up in the web browser. So I'm going to put that in there called World. SVG element shows what element in the, your document is the uh, frame, and it, by default it's going to take whatever you have selected. So I have this rectangle selected, so it's using that rectangle. You can choose whether or not you want to hide it. I do want to hide this rectangle. Clip means it's going to uh, cut out everything outside of that if it didn't fit in the browser. Uh, timeout makes it lets you do an automatic presentation. It'll go from one to the other to the other. Uh, by default, it's disabled. You can enable that. Uh, transition and to this frame doesn't matter. This is my first frame, so I'm going to leave that and just click OK. Now, my second frame, I want it to zoom in on Africa, so I'm going to choose this and go back to my Sozi extension. Add a new frame here, and I'm going to call this Africa. And again, I'll give it an ID and I'm just making the same, but you can do different things. I do want to hide that rectangle. I don't want it to go automatically. I'm going to type into there. Transition. I'm going to uh, make this slow down a little bit so you can see some of the effects. And I'm going to zoom. Uh, you could zoom out or zoom in. Uh, if uh, you do a negative uh, percentage, it'll zoom out. There's not a lot of point in zooming out on the world, so I'm going to zoom in and say maybe 120%, and I'll see what that's like. And the profile, you can affect the speed. Uh, I'm just going to leave constant speed for right now. Path, if you draw a path using a curve or a straight line tool, uh, you can specify what kind of path it's going to take and whether you want to hide that path. If not, it'll just do the best way it can. I'll apply that. And then what I want to do is zoom in on, on uh, Ethiopia. So I'm going to zoom in, use my plus key, because I want to select that outline and I want to get in closer. So just type the plus key on your keyboard. Select that object, and I'm going to make that my next frame. So I go to Sozi and add a new one, and I'll call this Ethiopia. And notice the SVG element, this element was already named ET. I don't want to hide this. If I hide it, that thing disappears. Uh, so I'm going to unclip hide. Uh, and transition to this. Let's again make it three seconds so you get to see it. And in this case, I'll zoom out and so we can see what that looks like. And instead of constant speed, let's just say speed up then down. And we'll click OK. So now I've got my three frames, uh, th two rectangles and then one object. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to open it up in a browser. I'm in a Mac, so let me use Safari. Open it up, presentation, and notice here it is. It shows item number one, frame number one. And when I press the right arrow key, it'll zoom in and then zoomed out. And if you look, let me go backwards to that, and I'll go through that transition again. And if I, it'll zoom in and out. Ah. You can play with that and see what you like. Notice here, here's where that index shows up. 
uh, and then I'm going to zoom in and this should kind of pull out when I press the right arrow key it should go out and then go back into Ethiopia so right out and then in and that's it is and you can see again there's the index up there so you can adjust things uh, and change it and see it in the browser just um, you know, go back, if I wanted to go back here and change something, maybe I wanted to change the speed or the zoom. Actually, that first one to Africa, uh, let's see, oh, zoom 100%, that's too much. Let me zoom uh, 30%, and then click OK. I need to, if I make a change, I have to save it, and then reload it again in my browser. So let me uh, go back, I'm just going to go back to the beginning and reload that, and Let's see, it'll zoom 50% in. There we go, and then comes back out. So that's kind of nicer. It's a little less uh, extreme than what I had before. That's the basics of making a presentation in Sozi.